Welcome back to Kevy's Kitchen, everybody. Today we're making jerk shrimp and grits, and I have a special guest. We're introducing my friend Alec for his first ever Kevy food review live on YouTube. We're gonna start off with a rainbow assortment of bell peppers. We're gonna slice them up, you know, pretty evenly, depending on the size of your peppers. And then we're gonna move on to our onions, and you wanna slice your onions to be about the same width as your peppers. Just like so. Oh, there are those onions. I hope everybody's been doing fantastic. I miss you all very much. We've got our pork belly back there marinating. And of course, you know, Grace and Walker would make the best Jamaican jerk marinades, mild or spicy, depending on what you're feeling. Typically for this dish, I would use a center cut or a thick cut bacon, but I wanted to be a little extra and a little fancy with this dish, so we chose pork belly. If you're liking what you're seeing so far on the channel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget on to turn on your post notification bells. And for those of you watching, I appreciate you making it this far and not skipping. It really does help out the channel. I'm gonna put all your pork belly into a bowl of any kind and set it aside. Uh, we're gonna start off with the extra virgin olive oil, or as Rachel Ray would say, the EVOO baby. <laughs> uh, very large pan. I uh, love this pan, it's made by Tasty. And you can season your pork belly however you like. I chose a little Cajun Creole seasoning, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder. But don't worry, all of the exact measurements will be in the description box down below, so don't forget to check that out. And you wanna develop a nice little crust on these. Build up a little fond in the bottom of that pan, just like so. And don't worry about all those brown bits, or some people would say the burnt bits, baby, that's flavor. And you know we like our flavor in these streets. Ooh, come on with it. Y'all just look at that. Ooh, if you could smell this kitchen right now. <laughs> and in the same pan, because this is traditionally a one pot, um, dish we're gonna saute our peppers and onions and you're not gonna saute them down to they're just like old limp wet veggies like we want to have their own natural crunch to them a little sweetness um, just a little you know bite to the tooth oh that just looks beautiful I'm just getting hungry all over again doing this voiceover but I have no leftovers the horror the shame <laughs> We're gonna add in a little concentrated, better than bouillon, uh, garlic seasoning here, just to kind of really liven this particular portion of the dish up. And you're gonna go ahead and really open that up. Throw in some shrimp here that are seasoned with the exact same spices, onion powder, garlic powder, a little Cajun seasoning, um, just a little bit of the crab bowl in the marinade there. And you're just gonna cook these until they're opaque and just done enough. And we say just that enough because the carryover temperature is gonna bring them up because we're not done cooking these. And now for one of the stars of the show. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and we decided to go with this brand. Uh, it's it's wonderful, I love it. You're gonna go ahead and add back in everything at this point in time. All the renderings, your pork belly and the shrimp and give it all a wonderful mix. It looks a little weird right now, but trust me, it all works out in the end. Look at that goodness. And I could literally just pour this in a bowl and this would be just a, a keto Atkins friendly little dish ready to go. Uh, just call it a day. You can put this on a tortilla. You can put this in a quesadilla if you wanted to. If you want to do a little fusion or something different, um, which I've done something similar to that reason. But let everything get in this pan. And like I've said in the drop card there, let the flavors get to know once another. <laughs> 
And in that blue pot you see in the uh, corner there, we've got our grits already ready to go. They're infused with cheese, herbs, and spices, and we are ready to build in a martini glass because I wanted to be a little bougie. Shout out to my friends, Rachel Evans and Mike Evans. Uh, this idea was originally inspired by something they had at their wedding, and I thought it was wonderful. And it's been years since that wedding, but this particular presentation has never left my mind. Um, I love you guys dearly and congratulations on all that you've got going on in your careers. That being said, we're going to go ahead and finish building this up. Look at all of that. Top it off with all of that goodness. And this is also a great brunch idea. If you wanted to top this off with a fried egg or a cheesy omelet, like a small cheesy omelet in between the grits and this dish, you'll be good to go. Let's see what our food reviewer has to say about it. We'll see you next week, friends. We're recording. All right. All right. So what do we got here, Kevin? We've got my Jamaican jerk inspired shrimp and grits. We're a little bougie, a little fancy right now. I actually got this dish plating, a presentation, if you will, for my friend's wedding. And I'm like, you know what? Let's try something different. Right. Let's do this. What do you think? All right. This looks delicious. So I'm going to dive in here. All right. Good. Make get sure to... I get a good amount of the shrimp. I'm going to try to get some of this grits here. Yeah, you gotta get down there and get all that goodness. All right, and then we got, we got, I think, here we go. Peppers and onions. All right, all right, all right. And we went with a mild spice this right. time, okay? This here looks we go. delicious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how it tastes, right? There we go. Be brutally honest. Mm. <laughs> that food face says it all, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely delicious. This is how we get down in Kathy's mm. kitchen, right? It's incredible. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to eat the rest of this. All right. Honestly, for sure. So, we can't great even flavor. get to speak. Great flavor. I mean, this is incredible. I, I honestly don't usually like shrimp and grits, but I mean, this is just incredible. Such good flavor. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to eat the rest of this. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. We can't even continue to speak, so we'll see you next week. Enjoy.